So here we have two simultaneous equations. That just means we have two equations, each one with an x and a y. So we have two variables and two equations. We can't solve each one on its own because we have two variables, so we need to solve them together. And that's what simultaneous means. So there are two ways to solve this, two general um, common approaches to solving simultaneous equations. One is called elimination, and one substitution. And both um, are equally um, easy, um, but some apply um, more readily to some equations. So I'll, I'll try both, and I'll show you that you'll get the same answer, whichever approach you, you choose. So for elimination, what you want to do is you want to eliminate one of the variables, either the x or the y. So the first thing you need to do is rewrite these equations so that you have the x and the y in the same order. So I want the x before the y. So I'll write x <clears throat> plus 3y equals 6, and 7x minus y equals 20. So I've got the x's together and the y's together, the equals and the number. What I want to do is to add these together so that these or these cancel out. They subtract to zero. So I look at the three and I look at the minus one and I think if I multiply this by three, then I'll have a three here and these will cancel. So that's what I'll do. I'll multiply this equation by three. So let me move this out of the way if I can. No. So if I rewrite this equation, 3 times 7, 3 times y, and 3 times 20, I'll get 21x minus 3y equals 60. And then I'll bring this equation back down here. So x plus 3y equals 6. And then I'll just add these two together. So 60 and 6, that's 66. And then minus 3y and 3y, that's going to give me 0. And 21x plus x is 22x. So the y's have been eliminated, so now we only have one variable x, so that's easy to solve. We can sorry, 60 plus 6 is 66, of course. We can then divide 66 by 22, and that'll give me 6. So now we found the value of x we still need to find the value of y. So I can find the value of y by substituting x into any of the equations. I could substitute it here or here. So I'm going to substitute it in this equation here. So 7x minus y equals 20. And I will replace this x with 6. So 42 minus y equals 20. You could rearrange that. So y equals 42 minus 20. y equals 22. So now we have our two solutions, or x and y. We can say x equals 6, y equals 22, or you can write it as a pair like this. So that's 
the solution to these two simultaneous equations using the method called elimination. So you've eliminated one of your variables. I'll now solve the same question again, but this time using uh, the method called substitution. So I'll just make some space. Okay, so substitution, what you want to do is you want to rewrite one of the equations in the form x equals or y equals. So how about I take this equation and rewrite it so that I have y equals. So if I bring y to the right side and the 20 to the left side, I'll have y equals 7x minus 20. And that's a value of y I can then substitute into there. So my strategy is to write one variable in terms of the other and then substitute that back into the original expression. So I can now write... Sorry, what I meant was substitute it into y. So it goes into there instead of y. So I can now write, instead of 3y plus x equals 6, I can replace this with that. So it becomes 3 times 7x minus 20. Okay, so this is that. So now my expression only has x in it. And therefore, I can solve it. So that's 21x minus 60 plus x equals 6. So you want to expand the brackets. So that gives you 22x equals 66. And x equals 66 over 22. So x equals 6. So if... If that's familiar, it's because it's the same, the same answer. Now we found x, we can find y by substituting x in there. So this is our expression for y. We can simply substitute the value of x in there. So y equals 7x minus 20. And this x will go in there. So y equals 7 times 6 minus 20. 42 minus 20 equals 22. And again, if that's familiar, it's because it's the same answer that we got previously. So now I have my two solutions, x and y. I can write x equals 6, y equals 22, or you can write it as a coordinate pair, 20, uh, 6, 22, x, comma, y. So that's how you would solve this by substitution. So whenever you have a pair of simultaneous equations, if it's linear, that means there's no squared or cubed or 1 over x or cosine x. If it's just a linear expression like this, sometimes you can use elimination. Otherwise, substitution always works. Okay, I hope you found that helpful.